I hope everybody's off to a good start this year. Uh, I am super excited about what's to come, uh, and for the first video this year, uh, I wanted to come out with something special. Now, I was gonna make a project, a traditional project video, uh, but I thought uh, I didn't really have enough time and I wanted to get a project out really soon, um, and so uh, I thought about doing a video um, on a project that I've been working on most of the summer. Uh, and this, I haven't really talked about that much. I'm not sure if I've talked about it at all, actually. Uh, but basically, what I've done is uh, helped my grandpa build a motorhome. And he has been working on this all summer. He's done a lot of work, uh, and I've done some of the uh, other woodworking stuff for him. Uh, and uh, he basically built himself a... Um, uh, living space in a Ford Transit. And so it looks uh, really nice, uh, and I want to take you on a short, about a minute tour of this van. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about it, so let's get into that. So my grandpa's lived in a motorhome for quite a while. He has a big 38-foot motorhome now, uh, and that is uh, really too big for him uh, to handle anymore. It's quite difficult to drive, uh, and uh, also, the fuel bills are way up there. Uh, so basically, he wanted to look for a better solution, uh, and for him, that solution was building his own. Uh, and so basically, what he did is he bought a Ford Transit uh, van and he turned it into his own uh, little living space and home. Uh, and so this project was really fun for him and for me. Uh, I was able to help a lot. Um, I was able to use my shop here to build a lot of stuff for him. Uh, and basically um, help him get this uh, dream of his uh, to become a reality. Uh, so basically, let's go uh, into the tour. I took a quick video a couple days before he left this fall, uh, and I've been waiting to share it with you, so I think now's a pretty good time to do that. Now it is night out when I took this video, so you can't really see the outside of the van that well, uh, but here it is, and as you walk into uh, the side door of the van, you can see the kitchen area, along with the driver's and passenger's seats, uh, and here's a little kitchen table. Now, up here's some storage, and also this little sign that I made him, uh, and on the side there is a little control panel for some switches. Now, over here, you can see a microwave and a fridge, along with some space for clothes and that sort of thing along the left. There's a TV that also flips so you can watch outside. And here's a bed uh, slash couch that uh, is not yet upholstered, but will be soon. Over here are some dimming switches, um, as you can dim uh, different sets of lights. Uh, and here's the little pantry that I just walked by. Uh, up there is a little toaster oven. Uh, down there is the stove. And here are some drawers uh, with this cool little feature that my grandpa made that locks the drawers while in uh, movement uh, so they don't come open. Uh, over there is the sink, and that's just about everything in here. All right, so obviously that was a bit of a short video. I should have really extended it a little bit longer, um, uh, but it's too late now. I can't really do anything about it. Uh, so anyway, I had to stick with what I had uh, and talk pretty quickly in that last scene. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go over a couple things now that I didn't get to mention in that video. Uh, one being, there is a toilet. Uh, it's a little portable toilet that stows away under the bed. Um, the bed also will flip up so you can, the back, the head side will flip up so that you can um, watch TV to that TV in the back. Uh, I think I mentioned it in the video, but the TV flips around and hangs the other way uh, so that you can watch TV from outside when you open those back two doors. Um, a couple things that I built, um, the doors to the left of the TV, um, those uh, big tall doors uh, weren't made by me, uh, but I connected three of them together. So there were, uh, my grandpa bought these doors in Indiana at an RV place for $2 a door and that's ridiculously cheap. Um, so it's much cheaper to do that instead of put all the work into making them uh, myself. So what he did is he bought those and then he brought them to me and had me connect the three. Uh, and what I did, what I ended up doing to connect them is I uh, cut the bottoms off, I cut slots in the bottoms, and then I put some pieces of oak in there and glued it together. Uh, so um, it was acted kind of like a spline uh, running along there, or a, um, I'm not exactly sure, spline or a tenon um, on there, and it, it worked pretty good, it was pretty cool. Um, and so there's four of those, that's a project I made. Um, also, I didn't show you the pantry, but the pantry door opens up and there's drawers in there, I made those drawers. Um, and 
I also made the drawer fronts, the, um, the drawer fronts uh, right underneath the kitchen area that had those cool locking mechanisms on there uh, that my grandpa came up with. And those are to pre prevent them from opening while on the road. Um, also, there are some big batteries in there to keep the refrigerator running, uh, which is pretty cool. And the refrigerator r will run um, for a couple days, actually. I think like I think he can get it to run up to about two days um, uh, without any power. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, the batteries are pretty good, and all he has to do is turn the engine on for 15 or so minutes, and he has it so the engine uh, will charge up those batteries in the back, um, and then he has a relay on there so it will shut off when uh, the engine is turned off, uh, so you're not wasting power. Uh, so lots of cool features in this thing, um, and there's a lot more I can tell you about. Uh, another thing, he is working on a trailer to go along with it, uh, but I won't be able to help him with that because that um, he's doing down south this winter. Um, and again, it's pretty cold up here, uh, so that's why he goes down south in the winter. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's about it. That's first of the year project, um, or first project of the year. Uh, and I think it's a pretty cool one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you uh, like any of my videos on my channel, please subscribe. Uh, and also like this video. So thanks for watching.